crazy mother. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having a wonderful week so far. Guess what? Today is October 2nd and there are a few celebrations happening today. So number one, July 2nd, 2015, I had the gastric sleeve surgery. That was exactly three months ago today. So I skipped the 13th week, which was yesterday, and I'm doing the three month today. So I skipped a day so I can do and celebrate the three month mark. It has been officially three months. Time is flying by. I never ever in my wildest dreams or thoughts think that I would even be here uh, at this mark. I, I just can't wait till I get to one year <laughs> and then I could really actually say that. Anyway, we are gonna get to stats and now we're gonna talk about something special happening today besides the three month. For about 10 years, I struggled to lose weight and my starting weight was 220. I looked into having the sleeve, found that my best bet, because insurance wouldn't cover the cost, my husband's insurance wouldn't cover sleeve surgery, so my best bet was to go to um, Mexico and it was in Tijuana, Mexico. If you want to watch that journey, I have it. It's in the video list down below, I'll leave the links to those videos in the description box as well if you want to click on those links to see my journey to Tijuana, Mexico. I had a very pleasant experience. It was very nice. It wasn't done in a garage. It was done in a hospital with one of the best um, surgeons out there. He has quite the reputation for being the best surgeon, one of the best surgeons out in Tijuana, Mexico. So um, I was very happy to get in touch with them through alighterme.com with Dr. Ortiz. So my starting weight was 220. I went on pre-op diet, two week pre-op diet. I lost 12 pounds. Um, surgery date, I was down to 208. Each month I am losing, the first month I lost 20 pounds. Um, that went down really, really quick. The second month, I lost, the second month I only lost five pounds. This last month I have lost, for the whole month, seven pounds. So last week I came to you, week 12, September 24th, for week 12 I was at 175. So I am down to 173, so that's a two pound loss for a week, which is fine with me. Five pounds of five to six pounds a month is actually quite good. It's more than I would ever lose before the surgery. So I think it's very, very good to lose only that much. It's always normal to drop so much the first month or two and then slow down. And that is exactly what I've been told is, is that I'm losing at such a good rate that I'm not making myself sick, which I'm fine with. Um, I was a bad girl last week uh, on Sunday because um, it was my son's birthday party. I only had two bites of the cake, but it was so delicious, but it was so super sweet. I couldn't really take more than two bites without going, okay, that's enough sugar. I can totally taste it and feel it in my stomach. And then I had a couple of sips of a raspberry, not tea, but maybe it was like a raspberry iced tea, but it was a, a bottled one, like a soda bottle type, and that's full of sugar. I iced it down and it still feel, made me feel a little bit sick. I don't have problems with sugar and that scares me. And I can have sugar and nothing happens. I didn't have dumping syndrome, I didn't, and that completely scares me because once I get that mind thought thinking, oh, sugar's okay for me to eat, I'll just eat here and there and totally screw up everything. It is a mind thing, it's all up here and I just, I have to make sure that I keep myself on track up here um, because I know that I can fail or feel like a failure if I don't watch myself. And so I'm working on up here and not using sugar as a comfort food because that was always my problem in the past. So this is something that I really, really, really have to continue to work on. 
I know that I can't handle it. My taste buds can't handle it. But I know my stomach obviously can, and that's a problem. Let's talk about non-scale victories since surgery. And I listed all this non-scale victories. Loose clothing, that's a given. Uh, hold legs up while painting toes. So I was like this. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see my knee, but I was like this and I can I can hold my legs up and do my toes, which I couldn't do because I had a stomach there and I just couldn't even, I don't even, I didn't even shave a lot because I just couldn't reach my legs so well because my stomach was in the way. I always had people tell me that, um, oh, are you pregnant? Because I looked a lot, like really pregnant and I, I noticed when I look at the pictures, I'm like, oh. Yeah, it was very offensive, but I can see why. Anyway, my ring's falling off. I can't wear any rings. I, I get to have a new one, but I still can fit this. It's loose. It's my Mickey Mouse ring on my um, this side, but it's very, very, very loose, and I just don't want to do this and have it falling off. It's still staying. But um, So I went down like two ring sizes, and I'm going to wait till I get to my goal weight to get a new wedding band. Um, my feet shrunk. I've had to buy new shoes. I went from a size 10. Um, after I got pregnant, my feet grew. So I went from a size 8 to a size 10 from being pregnant. And I never lost the weight in my feet. My feet have always been big and chubby. And people are like, oh, really? You're, you're that big? Well, I went down a size. I'm down to size 9 now. Um, it's snug, but obviously I lost weight in my feet. My watches and bracelets now fit. Before, I couldn't fit this bracelet on at all, even with this extender. It's really nice that I've got it almost all the way to the end uh, of this part, that, and it fits perfectly fine, which is great. All my watches fit now, and that's a great non-scale victory. Um, my obstructive sleep apnea, I'm getting a CPAP machine back in, and we're gonna do an at-home study. Um, I have a feeling it's gone, um, but the doctor still wanted me to check anyway, so we're going to do an at-home study, and I'll let you guys know the update about that, but I feel like I'm getting more rest because I'm getting more energy. Um, feeling energetic and feeling a lot happier. I was going through some severe depression states, um, and my weight was not helping that. I just felt disgusting, and I felt gross, and I knew that I was getting sick and pre-diabetic and all this stuff was starting to happen and it just brought me down. And so I'm feeling so much better and the doctors are always telling me how there's a reason why they have weight loss surgery patients go to counselors or psych evals or something because um, you go through such severe depression that even after weight loss surgery it's not fixed for some people. And with me, I feel like it's a lot better than what it used to be. I'm a lot more ha happier. I smile a lot more. I feel more emotionally attached to myself. You know, I'm aware of my emotions and stuff, so which is good. Getting on to measurements. My waist, my starting waist was 48 inches. I don't have a tape measure because I would do that. I'll promise you, once I get to a tape measure, I'm going to put it around my waist and do the pre-size, uh, pre you know, wrapped around my waist and see how much I've really actually lost. But I've lost eight inches in three months, so I went from a 48 down to a 40 and a half. My breast, I lost, uh, gosh, six inches. I went from a 47 to a 41, so now I can fit um, into a size 36 bra that stretches, which is, uh, yeah, 36 is a, a, I used to be a 38, but now I'm a 36 circumference. My chest um, up here is 43. It was 43, is down to 40, so I lost three inches. My arms are still 15 inches, but that's including these wonderful bat wings. Um, I'm not like squeezing it in when I measure, so when I still measure, they're still the same size, so obviously I have a skin issue up there. Um, and my neck went from size 15 down to a size 14, so I lost a whole circumference of an inch, which is great. So I finally got the chance to write down all my stuff in a book, and I'm going to continue to try to do that. I'm very inconsistent when it comes to this kind of stuff, but I'm going to try to keep it in my notebook here. I'm doing wonderful. 
but I want to say happy anniversary to my husband. He's not able to be here with me today, which is very emotional for me, but it is our 16 anniversary, wedding anniversary, 16 years today. October 2nd, 1999, I got married when I was 19 years old and I've been with him ever since. We were dating two and a half years beforehand. Um, he's the love of my life, he's trustworthy, he's loyal, he's um, committed, he is supportive, and I feel pretty blessed, pretty lucky to have someone like him. Yeah, all marriages have their problems and we don't get along sometimes, but who doesn't? I mean, get on each other's nerves after a while. You know you're a married couple. <laughs> You know you're a married couple if uh, you're arguing. If you don't argue, there's something wrong with your marriage. Um, anyway, so I just want to say happy anniversary to my husband. 16 years is quite the goal. I can't wait to celebrate our 20 years in Las Vegas because that's where we're going to go for our 20 year anniversary. That'll be so fun and so amazing. And um, yeah, so three months today, 13 weeks. Um, doing good, feeling good, and I really appreciate all your comments. We will see you all next week for next week's uh, update, and you all have a wonderful and beautiful weekend, and I love you so much, and yeah. Ciao. Bye. Okay. Um, 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 uh, gosh, let's see, 2A to 1A. Um, and then I would say about, yeah. Um, and, and, and with, and, um, hold on a second. Um, okay, so.